Hello, I am Ranger Shailene at Castle Rock State Park. Today we will be learning about what it was like to be a child on the California Trail. The California Trail was over 2,000 miles long and it was primarily used between 1849 and 1869 by over 250,000 immigrants heading to the gold fields of California. Children on the California Trail mostly walked the entire 2,000 miles to their new home. Could you imagine walking that far? On the trail, kids had chores like driving the oxen, caring for the younger children, cooking, doing laundry, and keeping the family journal. They often left behind family and friends for their new lives in California. Today we are going to read journal entries and accounts of what it was like to be a child on the California Trail. Thursday, July 4th, 1850. Last night, the boys of our camp made arrangements for celebrating Independence Day. About 3 p.m., we reached Sweetwater River and camped near Independence Rock. About 10 in the evening, campfires were replenished and there arose a shout that rolled from camp to camp until it died out in the distance. Followed by the discharge of firearms, which closed the celebration. John Steele, age 18. March 20th, 1849. Our family, consisting of father, mother, two brothers, and one sister, left this morning for that far and much talked about country of California. The last hours were spent inviting goodbye to old friends. My mother is heartbroken over the separation of relatives and friends. My father is going in search of help, not gold. The last Goodbyes were said, and a last glimpse of our old home on the hill, and wave of a hand to the old academy, and we were off. Sally Tester, age 14. April 7th, 1852. Bade adieu to home and started amid snow and rain for the land of gold. Mary Frances, who was 19 was the cook. Abigail Jane, who was 17, was assigned the task of keeping the family journal. Margaret Ann, who was 15, helped both with the cooking and with the keeping of the journal. Harvey, who was 14, helped drive one of the wagons. Catherine Amanda, who was 13, drove the loose stock while riding horseback. And John Henry, who was nine, helped drive a wagon. From the journal of Abigail Scott, age 17. of 1852. My mom loaded all her worldly possessions consisting of a stock of preserves and a camp outfit into a canvas covered wagon drawn by four yoke of oxen. And with her little family of five boys aged three, five, nine, twins of eleven, one who was myself, and a girl of thirteen years, she bathed goodbye to the old cabin home and the surrounding malarial swamps of St. Joseph County, Michigan, and took up her march of 2,800 miles as the road winds in search of the land of good health, more alluring to us than visions of gold. Elijah Brooks. Barefooted children here and there, wending their way along the line of march. Women, some with sunbonnets, some with hats, traveling along through the hot dust and over the parched plains. Men with their long whips walked beside the lolling oxen that were dragging their heavy loads towards the setting sun. 
The sun and the alkali dust was hard on me, as well as many others in the company. Joseph Fish, 10 years old in 1850.